here with Shutter Magazine. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for reading my article. This month is all on families and portraits. And my goal in this month's article was to really talk to you about a recent trip that I had to Rome, Italy, and how I documented that in a more of a unique way. I'm excited for you to see these images that will be in the magazine that I photographed of my oldest daughter, Sarah. Many of you are familiar with her. I've actually published her many, many times. And this was a trip that I took to kind of help get her settled in while she was studying abroad for four months. Anyways, um, I wanted to, as we were walking through the streets of Italy, I started taking a step back and watching her. And I couldn't help but have the feeling that I wanted to document these moments. I had brought my D4 and my lenses, and I traveled with all that, but I felt that they were just so cumbersome and in a way affected the ability to maybe be in the moment and really just spend this time with her. And so I wanted to share with you how I actually photographed and documented this entire trip. And all I did was honestly, it was all on my phone. Um, I have the um, iPhone 6S, and so I only traveled with this. I wanted to, again, just really experience the, the opportunity and the time with her. She had turned 20 during this trip. To me, it was vital to just celebrate her and be in the moment and be present. And if I had had my camera and all my equipment with me, I felt that that would have prohibited me from having that emotional connection with her. And so what I did was I documented pretty much everything on my iPhone and even really documented her watching Italy through her eyes. And I hope that you see that in these photos. I uh, basically started watching her, you know, because we're visuals, and I would take maybe a step back as she would continue to explore, and I could see and frame out in my mind how I could envision that and how I could see this as maybe a wall portrait or some sort of a series. And it started to come to life on its own. So I just started taking photos of her with my phone and then editing, editing them, and I'll explain how I did that in the article, but really just capturing the essence of her and seeing Italy through her eyes, but also for me as a mom, to view my daughter in not only an emotional way, but also in an artistic way, a creative way, without taking away a, a bonding experience. And so I really encourage you to take a moment, wherever you're traveling, it doesn't have to be Italy, however, uh, you know, if you're going to the park, if you're taking a walk, you know, if you're traveling on vacation, take a moment and really watch how your children view the world and what it is that they're looking at. What's the scenery around them? Document those moments. You know, many of you know that I'm very much uh, a selfie queen and take a lot of selfies, and we did that as well. But you know what, and I also did art prints and some beautiful images. Uh, but truly, when I look back on this trip, the images as a mom, excuse me, as a mom, that really speak to me are those images I took of Sarah where she wasn't even looking at me. And I look at those images and I revisit that, those moments over and over and over again. I see Italy in a different way, I see the the color, the texture, the art. I see my daughter and it brings back a whole nother emotion that I wouldn't have gotten had she been facing me. I took these photos where she was actually walking away from me. And you'll see those images in the article. I hope that you uh, are able to see that emotional capture the way I do and I'll be excited to hear your comments and, and to see how you guys can create images of your children and your family in this manner. I, I believe that portraiture doesn't always have to be of us looking at them and having a connection face to face. Think differently, do differently, create differently. Take images of your family walking away, of your children walking away and capture that. Uh, again, in the article, I'll explain how I did that. I, I'm really excited about this series. Uh, it truly is very special to me, and, and I hope that you enjoy it as well. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.